All right, so today I'm going to go through creating my first mash ton. I have here laid out the uh, all the equipment that I need. First thing is a cooler. This one is 48 quarts. Um, just needs to have a spout on the side. You can see it at the bottom there. Um, the hardware that you're going to need, I have it lined up here, and I have the parts. So if you look closely, you can see the Watts part numbers. Um, this is a half inch pipe to barb adapter. Uh, a couple washers, these are three quarter inch. Uh, these don't need to be stainless on the outside. Half inch uh, ball valve, brass, half inch nipple by one and a half inch. Um, a couple stainless steel washers, these do need to be either stainless or brass because they are going to be on the inside. Um, a half inch adapter, female to barb, uh, stainless steel hose clamp. Then this is actually a washing machine hose, you just need to make sure it's stainless steel. Uh, I think this one is 48 inches long. Um, another stainless steel hose clamp. And then a uh, square head plug, and this is what we're going to use just to plug the other end of the, uh, of the hose. And then some Teflon tape. So this is everything that you need, uh, and now we'll get to assembling. One thing that I forgot in the parts list is copper wire. You can see that I've, I've wound this up. I actually uh, wound it around a bolt. You could use a pen or pencil. Um, this is what we're going to put inside of the stainless steel braid to make sure that it doesn't collapse. This is 14 gauge. You could also use 16 gauge. And of course, don't forget your homebrew. And just turn uh, this counterclockwise to unscrew it. Once you get this outside piece off, you can just pull the rest through. Then make sure you keep this, uh, this rubber piece here so you can actually pull it off. We're not going to need this, but you do need this to go around the, uh, around the brass fitting. Okay, the next step is to cut the ends off of our stainless steel hose. I'm going to use a hacksaw. It would be much easier with metal shears if you have them. determine what length we needed for the steel braid. Uh, I already had this, this copper spiral measured uh, for the length of the mash tun. Uh, so I'm just going to make the braid roughly the same length. I can always trim down the, uh, the copper if I need to. Alright, so this part is a little bit tricky and be careful because these little strands will hurt you. Um, basically what you want to do is get this down off of this tubing in the middle. Um, just using a pair of pliers here. You can use your hands as well. What you want to do is, is push it down. And if you try to pull just tightens, so you, re you have to push this. Don't do it down there. Looks weird. There we go. Um, I've got one of our hose clamps around the outside of the, the braid here. Um, I'm going to put the square head plug into the braid, um, and then I'm going to put the clamp around that and then I'm gonna clamp this down okay so we have this clamp on the end uh, I can clean up these other steel strands a little bit later uh, but now we're just gonna see if we need to trim down our coil um, so just working this in here okay so this brass nipple is going to go through the hole in the cooler uh, and this rubber piece that came with the cooler uh, is going to go around so this is the inside here um, so you can see there's a little inside inner ring that will we'll slide in so be careful uh, be careful on the 
threads here because they can cut through this this rubber material so don't just push it on try to kind of pull it around the threads all right now that it's on there um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the inside of the cooler also on the inside we're gonna have the stainless steel washers we have to kind of thread these around the fitting. There we go. Okay, so this is the outside here. Um, I'm going to put these two washers in place. Uh, you may, depending on your cooler, you may only need one, you may need three. So before you actually put that ball valve on, you're going to want to put some Teflon tape on the threads here. Um, I think around, uh, wrap it around maybe two, three times. Okay, now we're ready to put the ball valve on. Uh, make sure whichever way the handle needs to open is facing away from the cooler. You can see, I I have the uh, the fitting taped on this side as well. Now we're going to put on our uh, our other adapter. So we've got our other hose clamp on. I trimmed down the copper wire a little bit that we had in there so I can get it on to um, this other barb. So just slide it up there. Slide the clamp. And then tighten it down. Last piece, I put the tape on. Um, this is where we're going to put our high temperature hose to go into your brew kettle. What I'm doing now is just filling up our mash tun with warm water. Um, probably put a couple gallons in there and then we'll make sure there's no leaks and test out the ball valve. It looks like we are leak free. I don't see anything down there. I don't see anything out here. Let's try the valve. There we go. Looking good. Dirty dishes and all.